I'm Deborah Check Reeves. I am the Curator of Education and the Curator of Woodwinds and the Coordinator of Graduate Studies here at the National Music Museum. I started working here in January of 1996, so I am almost at the end of 20 years. The saxophone that is going to be used is an instrument that was manufactured by the Martin Band Instrument Company. It's the, called the committee model and at the time when it was made back in 1937 this was a, a revolutionary concept of actually forming a committee together to come up with the ideal saxophone. It's called the committee model because it actually was designed by a committee of saxophone technicians, uh, performers, um, acousticians. This was actually kind of a revolutionary kind of thing in instrument design because most instruments would have like one leading input, uh, one person leading the input, but this was, was truly a committee. Leeson when he obtained the saxophone was absolutely thrilled with it initially and uh, correspondence that we have in our archives indicates that he only became more excited and, and more impressed with the instrument as he continued to play on it, to break it in um, and just considered it one of the best instruments that he owned. Cecil Leeson uh, who actually owned this particular saxophone, uh, obtained this instrument in 1937 and decided that it was a marvelous instrument. Leeson played Martin saxophones his whole professional career. Um, unlike some student line instruments that sometimes we associate the name Martin with student line, uh, that was not the case back in, in the 1930s um, and 1940s. The saxophone was a very popular instrument in the United States. Um, it was extremely popular during vaudeville days and in uh, the use in early jazz. Cecil Leeson was one of the first people in, in America to actually champion the saxophone as a classical instrument. Leeson was the first person, period, to actually perform a, a saxophone recital in Town Hall in New York. Uh, he did that in 1937. Uh, Leeson was actually a good self-promoter and uh, engaged uh, with lots of, of recording contracts and of course uh, the recording industry was just mushrooming during this time and that of course made it possible for the classical saxophone to be heard all over the country, not just in the eastern part of the United States. Cecil Leeson not only was a top musician and promoter of the saxophone as a classical instrument, but he also was a serious collector of instruments. Uh, he had collected 30 saxophones and nine other woodwind instruments, and uh, including uh, several instruments made by the inventor of the saxophone himself, Adolf Sax. In 1994, that collection was transferred to us here at the National Music Museum. We now have all 30 of those instruments well, I guess 39 of those instruments, but all 30 of the saxophones, including the saxophone that we're going to be hearing. Leeson was a pioneering American saxophonist. Uh, he actually was one of the first Americans to champion the saxophone as a, as a classical instrument. After he got used to the instrument, um, it was decided that he would premiere the, or make the American premiere of the Glazunov Saxophone Concerto. This was done in January of 1938 with the Rochester Philharmonic. This instrument may not sound exactly like the saxophone that you're used to hearing today. That being said, Leeson 
particularly chose this instrument because of the sound that it gave. Um, we also have to remember that there have been continuing improvements to instruments that we don't necessarily see. In other words, adjustments to bore um, and things like that. So this instrument does have 1938 intonation. And so there will be some uh, peculi peculiarities that will be associated with that that our guest artist will have to deal with. This particular saxophone, this committee model that, that Leeson owned and played, is inscribed down the side of the instrument with the date and event um, that uh, highlighted uh, the premiere of this instrument. American Major Orchestral Premiere Glazunov Saxophone Concerto, Leeson, Eterby Rochester Philharmonic, January 13th, 1939, played on this alto. It's interesting that this saxophone is engraved with the date of 1939, because in actuality, that's wrong. The premiere actually took place on January 13th in 1938, and preserved in the National Music Museum archives, we have correspondence, written correspondence, dated in 1938. Uh, there's a, a letter dated uh, January 5th of 1938. Next Thursday, I'm looking forward to playing this concerto with your orchestra. Things like that. So we know for a fact that the premiere actually took place uh, a year earlier than what it is inscribed on the instrument.